Hi, this is Serpent Star again. This is Gizmos and Gadgets again. Welcome back. Let's continue on with the aircraft career track, or rather, building, and uh, see what we're working on today. It's a sailplane. It looks pretty simple. It is pretty simple. But we do have quite a few parts to take a look at, and none of them are reused yet. We have the decal and paint, the same as always, the fuselage. The body of your sailplane is called the fuselage. This is where the pilot sits, the less air resistance or drag the fuselage makes, the faster your sailplane can go. A fuselage that is small and has an enclosed cockpit will make the least amount of drag. The wings. Sailplanes have no engines, so you will need the wing to lift your plane into the air and help it fly. The less drag the wing makes, the faster your plane will climb. All of the wings available to you have the same surface area. For those wings, the longer the wing, the less drag it makes. The longest wing available to you is a 60-foot wing. The wing with the least amount of drag will also have winglets on the tip. Okay, so we want a 60-foot wing with winglets. Controls. All sailplanes need basic controls to fly. To help your plane go faster, you can add extra controls to the wing that will help that will affect how well your sailplane lifts and descends. Spoilers help you make take the most direct route to the place you want to land. Flaps help you use updrafts to climb. The height you reach can then help you go faster. Flapperons will help your sailplane go fastest. So we want flapperons, a 60-foot wing with a uh, winglet on the tip, and a small enclosed fuselage. Landing gear. That's actually the same part, both front and back. The landing gear helps your sailplane take off and land safely. When your sailplane is flying, the less air resistance or drag the landing gear makes, the faster your sailplane can go. Landing gear with a single retractable wheel makes the least amount of drag. It doesn't even tell us about the other options in this one. So we've covered most of these things. The instrument. Pilots need special instruments to tell them how fast the plane is climbing and how high up they are. The instruments can show the pilot when the plane is in an updraft. A plane can fly faster, faster when it is in an updraft. An altimeter tells how high the plane is, but doesn't help the pilot as much as a rate of climb indicator. The best instrument is a variometer. Last but not least, definitely not least, is the airfoil. The airfoil is the shape of the wing that lifts your sailplane so it can fly. The less drag the airfoil makes as it lifts your plane, the faster your plane can go. Curved airfoils make less drag than flat airfoils, and airfoils with both the top and bottom curving down make even less drag. A laminar flow airfoil makes the least amount of drag, so we want laminar flow. And uh, I remember actually studying that somewhat in a camp that I once went to. I had, uh, I went to a summer camp, which was all about aerodynamics. Um, it's rather interesting that we'll be picking up the shape of the wing in a different box from the wing itself, but... Uh, <laughs> That's the only way they're going to teach you about both parts in this game, I suppose. Let's go. Pick that up. Two wheels, one behind the other. That's a landing gear. We have a rate of climb indicator, which I believe was mentioned was better than an altimeter, but not as good as a what do we want? A variometer? I think that was it. I can go back and check if I find one. Let's start up at the top. With a 1, 3, and 5, 5 is, uh, 28. Well, that's easy. Four fives and two fours. So hopefully, um, I have uh, adjusted my sound levels a little bit, and hopefully you'll be able to hear the music a little bit better in this one. In my last session, I had it turned down. Oh, a single retractable wheel. That's a good part. Um, so even though I was trying to point out the, uh, the music in the boss race, it might have been kind of difficult to hear. Sorry about that. Okay, three fours is twelve. Twenty-one. Um, twenty-six. Same solution as last time. There. Let's go through here and hope that we can get that door over there to get to the prizes. Um, 12, 13. Okay. So, 13, 5, plus 8. Ooh, extra prizes. Extra bananas. Single main wheel. Well, 
That's not terribly helpful, but okay. And then we have a 15 and a 16, so that's 31. Um, which, and because we have the instruments to make a 5 here, we can just mirror it on the other side. More prizes! Red paint! A small fuselage with an enclosed cockpit. Looking good. That's the best fuselage we could get, if I recall correctly. Whee! Let's get and get another box. 150 foot, a uh, foot, 60 foot square, 50 foot wing, sorry, with winglets. And that's the landing gear that I want. Okay. So that's our retractable wheel. We don't need that. Rate of climb indicator. Well, I can't click on it even though it's there. Okay, small fuselage with enclosed cockpit. Let's paint it yellow. I, I like the yellow color in this game. It's very bright. Now, I believe this we wanted a 60-foot wing, right? Yes, with winglets. We have the 60-foot wing with winglets. It kind of seems like it clips off the back of the plane, but uh, we have it. We have the instruments, but we're not sure we want to use that one. Okay, we also need controls, the airfoil, because even though we have a wing, it isn't shaped yet, because that makes sense. Um, so controls in an air file. That's all we need. Let us continue on. Is there anything in this door? There is... an air foil with both the top and bottom curving down. I think that was the second best? Or something? It's not optimal, but uh, it's certainly not bad. Okay. I should be able to open this and then get the monkey to come out. What do we got? A, um... Okay, so that'd be... 14. There we go. I'm getting a lot of balance puzzles this time around. Whoops! I forgot to wait! <laughs> That's okay. Whew. That could have been, uh, interesting. And perhaps it was. For some crazy person out there. Shoot the basketball into the flashing hole using sand to increase friction. Should be able to do that. Oh, if I get to the seven. There we go. What we got? I don't need another fuselage. I've already got a fuselage. Since this is the second level, we can probably just get away with, um, you know, second to best, uh, parts on a couple different areas. So I don't expect that to be a problem. Let's go this way. Obviously, we need to open a door to get down from there. Shoot any object into the flashing hole using oil. Okay. How about the boot? It's too far. There we go. Hmm. There's a part. Basic controls. Ooh, we should be able to go back and just win now. But we need to get down. Okay, so 25, 16... Fly buzzing around my room. 25 and 16 should equal... 41... 42. Uh, so 12 plus 30. Uh, hmm. A less than optimal airfoil. I guess I'll have to go in the other door to find a way down. I've got this one big fat fly that's been buzzing around my room for a day or two. Shoot any object into the flashing full hole using low gravity. Come on, low gravity, there we go. Let's do this again. Oh. Uh, one. There we go. Okay, what's over here? Ah, uh, yes. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to save this area for next time. This used to be one of my favorite places to come and look for parts. So, see you next time for more gizmos and gadgets with me, Serpent Stare, and we'll get a whole bunch of presents.